Welcome to today's video. Let's play. I was born to be free. Off, leaving the airport, headed to this event property. Stoked. I've never been in a helicopter before. This is my first time flying one, so <laughs> oh God. I heard it's easy. All right, what do you think of flying, dude? I think it's great. No reservation. Our ground speed's 130 knots, dude. We're flying. That's about 150 miles per hour. We're blazing a trail, man. Yo, this spot is beautiful. We gotta land out there, man. I wonder if it's like light sand just gonna roll up everywhere. Or if it's like hard. So, Scott's got this beautiful property and he's wanting to start, this would be the first year of it. First year. Some real, I call it like redneckery. This is oh, like, his, this is 100% redneck. redneck energy out here. You got what? Pit bike races. Yep. We'll have mud running. We're gonna have some drag racing, sand drag racing. So. <gasps> out here? Out here, yeah. Look at this. Like nowhere else in Ohio are you gonna get like pure sand drag racing, so. I'm gonna come out here, definitely land in the helicopter right. I think this is my spot. Although I think I blocked all your trails, no? Oh, no. Nah. I'll find a spot over there somewhere, private, set up a tent. We're not gonna let, let all the rednecks drive on the dam because someone's gonna end up down in the water. Oh, a thousand percent. <laughs> so this epic event, when is it? November 3rd and 4th. November 3rd and 4th, open to you guys, open to the public. Come out here, join the first year of this epic showdown, man. Are we gonna have a fireworks show? Well, I thought this is what we should do. Get a bunch of rednecks running around on the sand. Okay. We get in the chopper. We're gonna have that. We get, yeah, we'll have that. <laughs> we get in the chopper, Yep. we just need some Roman candles, mm. and we'll shoot the Roman candles, and if you get hit, you win a prize. Does that sound like a good time? <laughs> Shooting rednecks with Roman candles. <laughs> it sounds like the dream video, but I don't think the FAA is gonna like it. Yeah, I'll put the info in the description. Also, uh, Scott's social media and stuff, he's gonna be sharing all this stuff. So join us, this is gonna be a dope event. I'm excited, it's right here in Ohio, it's local, if you're in Ohio, so join us. I just want to see this place. You guys know I love properties. I love land. I mean, imagine creating content here, like having this freedom, this playground. They're not making more land, guys. So if you ever need to invest in anything, look for some property. Mine has only gone up. All the property I have has only gone up. So I love things like that. Let's check it out. It doesn't even feel like Ohio. He's got all this sand. This used to be, what it's called Glass Rock, right? Yeah, the, the area and they used to make glass here. But this is where we are gonna have this massive bonfire. This is all a big hangout area. It's like, feels like you're at the beach, Redneck Beach. Yeah, you need names for all these spots, dude. I know. Like, what's what the beach called? We'll yeah. take input from the people that come out, yeah. what they think they should be called. What should we called. call the beach? What should the beach be called? A little bird up there. A little bird up there. is amazing i hope to see you out here and uh i think before we leave we got to do a couple little things so i'm gonna go grab the helicopter bring it down to the beach and then you know, get some clips Got more. We're gonna fly home real quick. Let's go. All right, boys. That was fun. 
Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going for me. See ya. And these fall trees are getting pretty. Yep. Home sweet home. Like butter, baby. Welcome back. You know, it's always a good feeling to put your feet on the ground. <laughs> it really is. I, I don't know how many times. I wonder if that's, even with pilots of thousands of hours, I wonder if it still feels good when you put your feet on the ground. Landing on this platform was the hardest thing for me. And it's amazing now. I come in and just nail it. Like I had no redos. It would just set it perfectly down. That's big progress because the, the platforms you land on for like maintenance, they're way smaller than mine. So I have to get good on mine so that I can land on real platforms because mine is big. It's like cheating. Oh! Oh my! See how it just fell like that? Stupid. <laughs> to the wrong truck we gotta take this one stupid dude it's time it's time to say our goodbyes you think Corey's gonna do this with us when she's old enough <laughs> she's been a, a great toy that has barely been used you know this has 500 miles on it bought it in 2018 so this Basically brand new. Looks like uh, it's been through a lot, but we're giving her up. We'll trade her in, get something more family friendly. We gotta move on, girl. I'm sorry. It's not you, it's me. Are you gonna miss this buggy? Can I her about? No. You're not gonna miss it. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. I was never a fan of this buggy. That's the problem. It was just my buggy, and nobody in the family enjoyed it. But it was so loud and obnoxious <laughs> that it was just hard to ride in. I liked it. Kane liked it. See? It, like, it was fun, but it's just so big. I don't like driving it because you can't see out of it very well. The wrap is it's trying to hang on. Look. It's just so loud, that big exhaust. Is like, it's for going fast and getting loud. It ain't for old grannies. Did you just call me a granny? I'm 40. I'm so much older than you. You are. So she's leaving us, but we got to replace it with something family friendly. It would be great for all of us. So why this? Two major reasons. My Can-Am was just not practical. It's just me and somebody else. The family was always left out on that thing. Never get ridden. It was fun for me. Selfishly, we've been wanting to get a golf cart. We go to the racing events. We, we do things where we need a golf cart lately. But we also have a lot of trails. And if I'm giving up my buggy, we need something that'll do both. So this is it. This is the jacked up golf cart, basically. Like super jacked up. I know, but I'm saying it will do what the golf cart would have done for um, us. Plus, ripping think, it, ripping it up. Do you think this will fit through the tunnel at Bristol? No. Mm. Probably not. Mm. But we fly to Bristol, so can't take this anyway. Uh, that's true. <laughs> but the main point, the whole family, plus more, can be inside there. Riding trails, yeah. having fun together. I want to go home now so we can take a ride. What? I want to go take a ride. Go take a ride? Oh my god. <laughs> My buggy was so loud and obnoxious. This is like came till dawn. Don't worry, babe, I'll load it. All right, man, out with the old and with the new. The X3 leaves and the new Defender Limited arrives. I'm digging it, maybe because I'm old now, because I, I remember I used to look at these like they were so ugly. So if you're young, in the comments, you might be like, why would you get rid of that little race buggy to get to this? It's the grays, man. As soon as you start getting grays, you start liking old man things. Was good to me. What do we get? A new buggy. Hi. Hi. Oh, it does have a door. Well, I'm in there. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You like it?
already couldn't have done this in the other buggy. It feels good. It's cozy in here. I feel like camping, like it's already dirty. Trade her in. Look at them wheels, man. Yeah, it's yucky. It's yucky? Yeah. Oh, we gotta wash it. It's already dirty. Car wash. Car wash? Yeah. <laughs> car wash. That, that's what we need here, pretty much. It's really scary. It's I want a pizza. Corey, you're trying pizza? Make me get one. You never ate pizza. How does, how does a human go without pizza for six years? Come to the dark side. <laughs> Knox knows what's up. He's hitting him peppos. Why don't you just end it? No. Why don't you just do no. it? No, you, you have been. It. This girl has been dying to film. No, you end it. All right, here we go, <laughs> guys. Thank you for watching. Um, mm -hmm. New family toy gonna get get put to use. We're gonna make a lot of stuff with it in here. The event we're going to, we're gonna have a lot of toys Yum. out there. So, <laughs> are you gonna say anything? Are you gonna say anything? Bye. Bye. <laughs> We love you. Thank you so much for watching. You're beautiful. You're one of a kind. Uh, I don't know what that was. Smile more. <laughs>